Hey, this is James from DevTrench. And I wanted to show a video. I get a question all the time about uh, what Firefox extensions do I use. And so I just want to tell you everything that I use. And you'll have to excuse me. I've got a cold. Um, but whatever, we'll get into it. Uh, I'll show you everything I've got installed. Uh, I'll just name the ones that are active. You can see the ones that aren't. Uh, Colorzilla. DOM Inspector, Download Status Bar, Faster Fox, Flash Got, Fox Lingo, Great Summary, IE View, I Macros for Firefox, Measure It, Resize It, Screen Grab, Search Status, uh, Selenium IDE, uh, SEO for Firefox, Splash, Squidoo, Stumble Upon, Tor Button, and Video Downloader, and Web Developer. Uh, I'll tell you about each one as I go through them in the interface. Okay, if you're a web developer, the huge one that you've got to have is the Web Developer Toolbar. That's just a must. Um, you can disable JavaScript. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with cookies. You can edit and view CSS. It's got the Edit CSS plugin in it. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with forms like auto populate form fields, show passwords. Uh, really useful disable images, do a whole bunch of other stuff with images tons of information you can get just from a web page like display the title uh, look at anchor information miscellaneous stuff, you can clear all your cache and history from this plugin you can actually edit HTML from this plugin and it does it dynamically, show comments outline everything uh, outline, this is my favorite, outline the current element shows you exactly what you're looking at in the browser um, resize the window uh, use this a lot to test different window sizes tools, this is sweet, validate CSS, validate HTML view speed report, takes you to uh, webspeedreport.com I believe, something like that uh, view source um, you can view the frame source. This is cool with Firefox. You can view generated source. Got to make my window a little bigger here to see the rest of them. Options. I have options for the plugin. You can make your own screen sizes. And then this is to tell you that uh, this web page is in standard uh, compliant mode. This over a little bit or it's uh, and then these two options tell you if your CSS is okay and is, if your JavaScript has errors or not. If your JavaScript has errors you can open up the debugger tool straight from that. Must have without a doubt. Um, toolbar below it I'm a stumble upon freak so I, I use stumble upon a lot. Uh, in fact we can use this to go straight to my stumble upon page got 6,347 pages I've stumbled and 44 fans please be my fan if you want to um, what else we got we have measure it down here Use useful tool for designers to be able to measure uh, the sizes of things on the page uh, another huge one that I use all the time when doing web design is the color um, color picker I think that's colorzilla choose any sort of color that's on the site anywhere then you can copy in any of these formats and it auto copies the, the this one and you can set that in its options it's also got a really sweet color picker it's kinda slow I don't know what it's written in but it's kinda slow but you can pick any sort of color you want uh, faster Fox down here. This shows page load uh, speed. Pretty cool. Um, we've got let's see Yahoo's crap takes a long time to load. Um, video downloader. If I'm on YouTube, you can use this uh, plugin to download YouTube videos and pretty much almost any kind of video on the web. It'll suck out the FLV file. That's what it does. Tor button. To enable Tor when I want to uh, do some ultra secret browsing, 
uh, SEO for F Firefox. This is um, a pretty cool plugin when uh, viewing Google. Tells you all of the Google's information. Uh, if we uncheck it and reload the page, all that stuff's gone. So SEO for Firefox is good for looking at stuff in Google. It also is uh, good for um, do our pull down here. We look at SEO for Firefox. Got a really sweet lookup tool. Uh, we can look up a website. And you can see it's PR, the cache date, the age of the site, how many delicious links it has. Uh, I know that's wrong. I know it's got some delicious links. Uh, Yahoo links, the Alexa rank, complete rank, how many cache pages are in Google, DMAs, all this kind of stuff. So this is a pretty good rating tool that you can use just to compare sites. Uh, we've got uh, the page rank plugin and Alexa. Um, and then over here we've got Screen Grab. Screen Grab is my my latest favorite plugin. Uh, what it does is it let's see where it is. It's all the way down at the bottom. There you go. Save a complete page. Uh, and this will save a complete screenshot as um, a PNG. So that's just saved the whole page. Really sweet plugin to be able to do that. I wish every single browser came with a default feature that just did that. Um, let's see what else might be hiding in the context menu. Flash got. Uh, this is a good uh, mass downloader uh, add-on. So if you want to download just like every single link on a page, if it's a page that links like MP3s or PDFs, you can use this plugin to just suck them all off the page. Um, highlight keyword. This is part of some plugin that's in here. I really don't have any idea. Um, show keyword density. Uh, this post has shoe money in it. So let's look at that. Shoe money's in the title once, body, H1s, links, all that kind of stuff. So you can look at keyword density. I believe that's, these are a part of SEO. Firefox, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, oh, and another big one that's hiding down here at the bottom. View this page in IE. When I click this, it's, it opens up IE. And this is how I use uh, test pages out in IE, too. So, that's pretty slick. I guess there's like an IE tab plugin. I've never used that. Um, and another plugin that I wish really w worked for me was Sparky, uh, the Alexa toolbar plugin for Firefox. But whenever I, um, whenever I enable that, Firefox doesn't start up for me. So it's got some conflict with some other plugin, or it just doesn't work for me. That's too bad. But this Alexa, uh, Alexa rank, that's what the plugin's called, um, is what shows this page rank and the Alexa rank together I believe uh, will show me um, the Alexa rank on the site so not a big deal. I'll go through the add-ons again just so you can see everything I've got. I'm going to go through this list kind of slow. You can just do a search for any of these on mozilla.com and that's where you get them. So, go out and stack your Firefox with a ton of plugins and see everything you can get it to do.